हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू द ग्रुप थ्री वन कोर्स ऑफ डेली यूनिवर्सिटी बी एस सी ऑनर्स मैथमेटिक थर्ड सेमेस्टर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न वट इज अ बाइंड्री ऑपरेशन एंड हाउ टू डिफाइन ए ग्रुप यूजिंग बाइंड्री ऑपरेशन दिस वीडियो विल बी वेरी शॉर्ट एंड इन्फॉर्मेटिव सो बिफोर प्रोसीड फर्दर लेट एस रिकॉल सम डेफिनेशन दैट इज अ सेट वट इज ए सेट as we already know set is a collection of well defined and distinct usable objects now the word well defined is uh, very important here two words are there well defined and distinct usable well defined means that there is a particular specific definition of that particular object and distinct usable means that we are able to identify that particular objects is belong to that particular collection or not for example if i say that is n is a natural set of natural number then we already know that uh, it contains 1 2 3 4 and so on these many elements so there is no ambiguity that uh, one belongs or not belong when we say one number one then it will be the member of this n or we say that is collection of uh, all alphabets so a b c english alphabet so up to z so there is will be no ambiguity everybody will say this element belongs to this set as set but when we say for example that s is a collection of all good players so here the word good is not defined the word good is not defined here because i may say that particular person x is a good player and someone else may say that y is a good player because there is no particular definition of the word good so uh, the set is a collection of well defined and distinguishable objects so now think i think that uh, it is clear to you what we shall mean by well defined and distinguishable objects so next thing is function what is a function function on a set s is a rule from the set s to t where both s and t are the subsets of the real numbers which associate each element of s each element of s with a unique element of t so what how we write we write when where we take any x in set s so we shall have an element fx we shall have an element fx belongs to t so for each x we have fx in t so what we are taking we are taking a one single element from the set s and we are mapping it by some rule f so that fx belongs to t now what is a binary operation so binary operation let s be a non empty set first of all a binary operation on set s is a mapping this is also mapping that's why i recall uh, recalled here earlier what is a function so let is let it be denoted by star from s cross s that is cartesian product all we know from s cross s to s that is this under this star mapping when we we need to take two elements here we need to take one element because uh, there was s and here s cross s so we need to take two element from this set and when we operate uh, star on these element then we will get an element of s itself so we can write just like this star when operated on the element uh, uh, a comma b because this set s cross s contains element of the type tuple tuple side a comma b so it will give a star b and this should be member of s or we can write a b this tuple is mapped onto a star b which belongs to s this is uh, the meaning is very clear and simple that when we are take we are taking two elements any two elements from the set s and we are operating 
star between them then we are getting the another element of s all right so uh, let us uh, go further so before proceeding further let us uh, have some notation what is notation a notation is n skip n this is a set of natural numbers r set of real number q set of rational number and z set of integer r star where we are we put star it means we are removing zero from that set so r star uh, the set of non zero real numbers that is real number minus zero that is from the set r we will remove the element zero all right so let us uh, have some example of binary operation plus that is addition on the set of real uh, real number set of integer set of rational number is a binary operation because when we we take when we we take any two uh, suppose real number x and y x y suppose real number are there and then when we add them here it, then x plus y is also a real number so we are taking two real number and plus uh, if you talk about the usual uh, just uh, definition definition notation kind of thing uh, here uh, star a b is mapped onto a star b so what we see we can write here x comma y is nothing but x plus y and of course sum of two real number is again a real number so plus is a binary operation so similarly a non example is a, an example which is not in favor of that particular definition or particular result so uh, negative sign subtraction on set of natural number so is it not a binary operation because why it is not a binary operation because if you take suppose two two is a natural number and three is also a natural number this gives minus one and minus one is not member of the set of natural number so minus sign this is minus uh, on the set of natural number is not a binary operation again next example on the set z define a star b so we are defining another new binary op new operation here i i can't say here just this is binary operation because we need to check whether they belongs to uh, that that z or not so a star b is defined by a plus b plus 1 of course by means of definition by definition what we see when we add two uh, this is set of uh, integers so when we add two integers we get another integer and when we add another one is there uh, then we we will be getting again an integer so what we see a plus b plus 1 again a, an integer so this belongs to z so this plus on this set uh, z is a binary operation all right so uh, another example on set z product so on set z when we take uh, any two integer of course and then we multiply them we shall be getting another integer so product on set z is also a binary operation similarly if we talk about uh, uh, the pro product on r product on r so this also a star, uh, this product product is also uh, is a binary operation so let us uh, see further so what we have learned so far we have learned what is a, a set and what how to define a binary operation on it so uh, if now we talk about group wide that is we associate a set with a single binary operation all right so a set with one binary operation is called a group wide is called a group wide so r we have just seen uh, just seen before that r the set of real number under addition is a 
is of course this will be a groupoid because uh, uh, plus plus is a binary operation on set R. Similarly, plus is a binary operation on set Z, and multiplication on set Q. Similarly, if we talk about R and with product, so this is also a groupoid. So a set with one binary operation is called groupoid. What is semigroup? A groupoid. When we say groupoid, groupoid means a set with a single binary operation. So a groupoid equipped with associative property. Equipped with an associative property. Associative property is called a semigroup. That is, we all know what is associativity. So if uh, S is a set. and uh, star is a binary operation on it so i mean to say this is a groupoid so a groupoid uh, if it satisfied a star b star c in bracket this is equals to a star b star c so this hold if it holds for all a b and c then we say that this uh, this s satisfy associative property under the operation star so a groupoid with associative property is called semigroup now another uh, step ahead monoid is semigroup so what is semigroup semigroup is a groupoid with associativity so semigroup that is a groupoid with associativity with identity element what is identity element that is there exists an element e usually we denote it by e identity element such that a star e equals to e star a equals to a for all a so this identity element is nothing if, if we compare uh, from the set of real number so uh, there we can get the set uh, number 0 0 is an element in r such that 0 plus a Equals to zero plus a plus zero equals to a, and this holds for all a belongs to the set of real number. So, uh, in the set of uh, R plus, uh, of course, we know that uh, R plus is uh, a groupoid, and also it satisfies the uh, associativity. That is, is it is semigroup, and there exists element e such that zero plus E equals to zero. That is zero plus a equals to a plus zero equals to a for all a. So this is similar to actually definition of group. Just runs or generalize the property, uh, some particular property of the set of real number. So in the same parallel uh, line, it will run. So let us move further. So next again example. If we take uh, the set of real number without zero that is star we have written star here so we have uh, excluded zero r star is r and minus zero we have taken out zero so here one is there because one into a equals to a into one and this is equals to a for all a belongs to r star so one x as an identity element in the set of r star equipped with uh, uh, normal or general product defined over it so what is a group now we are in position to define a group a monoid a monoid in which each element possesses inverse is called a group all right so what we shall mean wh what we mean by inverse let a belongs to s that is as is a not empty set so there if there exist a if there exist a prime belongs to s such that a star a prime where a star is a binary operation on it on s equals to e that is identity element what we have talked about in last definition equals to a star uh, a prime star a so when we multiply these two uh, it gives us identity element so if we compare it with uh, the set of a uh, real number without zero and with the uh, usual multiplication so if we take any real number x then we can get always 1 by x such that uh, x into 1 by x equals to 1 and here in 
just now we have seen in this example one is uh, the identity element and this is called multiplicative identity also multiplicative identity this is called so x into 1 over x equals to e uh, the e nothing but identity here in general so for example in particular case if you take 5 then we can get easily 1 by 5 so that uh, uh, 5 into 1 by 5 equals to 1 another example r plus the set of real number with usual addition so here the identity element is 0 it is also called additive identity so for any x belongs to r there exists minus x belongs to r such that x plus minus x equals to 0 and 0 that is it identity this can also be written as <coughs> uh, minus x plus x so this holds for all x belongs to so when we take an element uh, in the set of real number we get minus x uh, when we take uh, the usual addition with uh, the set of real number so this is uh, this 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 shows that there exists inverse of each element additive inverse of each element so let us uh, summarize everything what is a group so a group is a non empty set and star be a binary operation defined on it we say that an ordered pair we say that uh, the an ordered pair say that an ordered pair g star uh, is a group if it is associative it uh, possesses inverse uh, so identity it possesses identity and each element possesses its inverse so in that case we say that g star is a group so what uh, we can write further we can write uh, set plus binary operation is group wide group void plus associativity this is uh, semi group semi group plus identity identity and this implies monoid monoid plus existence of inverse this implies a group so this is what uh, we have learned in this lecture so far so in the next lecture we will learn some uh, we will learn we will discuss some examples of a group and some properties of group thank you very much thank you very much for watching see you in the next video